Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zachary Eli and it has been my desire to bring you along on my photography journey. I have been a landscape photographer since 2008 and have been to many places chasing after sunrise, sunsets, I have hiked up stunning mountains and have visited many national parks around in America, in Canada and as well as other places around in the world. This will hopefully be the first of many videos. I want to bring you out with me into the field while I go on my landscape and cityscape shoots. I also want to do some equipment reviews and to show you some of the equipment I use to get the job done. I also want to talk about some Photoshop and some Lightroom editing tips as well as uh, to show you guys my print process, how I get my images ready from capture to print and I have them ready for sale. And we're going to start off all of this with the next video where I'm going to be talking about how I edited a photo that I took recently at the Upper Selita Reservoir here in Singapore. Now this famous tree at the Upper Selita Reservoir Park is very popular amongst photographers in Singapore. If you are a photographer in Singapore, I'm sure you have seen this place or you have shot here yourself before. And uh, using an app on my phone, I calculated that the sun will set in line with the tree in April this year. I went back a total of four times to try to get the shot I wanted because the first few times the uh, sunset wasn't dramatic enough, the skies were grey and, and it just didn't give the effect that I was looking for. And finally on the 6th of April, just before we were shut down by the COVID-19 lockdown measures in Singapore, I finally managed to get the shot I wanted. Now I want to share a little bit about my camera settings. I took two exposures at around 28mm, ISO 64, F8, one at 1 over 13 of a second and the other one at 1 over 50 of a second. The reason why I took two exposures is so that I can blend them in together in Photoshop. Now when I'm out in a few shooting, I, I like to set my white balance to match what I saw visually in the sky as closely as possible. I know that white balance can be changed easily here in Lightroom and in Photoshop, but I just like to have a very accurate representation of what I saw in the sky when I was shooting. Now the reason I shot at ISO 64 is because it gives me the greatest dynamic range and I shot at f8 because that's the sweet spot of my lens and that will produce the sharpest results. Now I was also using a uh, Nisi 3-stop soft-edged uh, graduated neutral density filter just to balance out the exposure from the sky and the foreground a little bit more. So for my next video, I'm going to be going through how I edited this image in Lightroom as well as in Photoshop. If you are interested, please do join me again next time. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment down below so I know your thoughts. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Shalom and goodbye.